Morning, my friends. I hope you're feeling great and doing great. I'm still in my Elden Ring hole, not even halfway finished with it, enjoying every single second of it. I popped my head out of my Elden Ring hole and the world's doing sexy summer camps for your children. I'm getting all kinds of things recommended to it. Sexy summer camps for your children. Makes me want to do um, this video right here. Th this one has become mystery school curriculum right here. So so let's do it. I fa I literally found the Illuminati. So let's have some fun with that. Let's go all the way from the beginning. Oh, I, I already get that Nancy Pelosi feeling. I'm already getting that San Francisco feeling to it all. I'm already getting that the way that a Democrat would perceive freedom, but it's really everybody. But you know what I'm saying. I mean, it, it, it's really everybody. Everybody's mind is controlled in one way or another. Their ego used against them so that every single human being arrives at the same exact postmodernist conclusion. Your brain gets scrambled up. You're given a PewDiePie joke. You're given a Black Lives Matter little catchphrase that you can't, and every single human being headed to the same destination with their egos used against them. They have no choice. They could never think their way out of it as they've tried to spend their whole entire lives thinking their way into everything. Every human being marching down the same path. It doesn't matter if they think that they're, I don't know, I could choose anybody. If I, if it was a bunch of truckers in Canada thinking that they oppose all of this, all of their egos have been used against them in a way where they um, are 100% this is their destination. Um, if I thought of the United States, the whole January 6th thing, and it was like a bunch of people against like lockdown. I don't even remember what the January 6th thing was. <laughs> um, those people, we even take the, the whole shaman guy, the fucking dumbass shaman guy, the January 6th thing. That dude's a flat earther. He, he's exactly the fucking mental illness. Every single person, whether they think that they're against something or they're for something or whatever, their minds and their egos are used against them so that this is the destination for every single human being. The destination of your thoughts, the destination of how you think. While you think you could think something different, every avenue has been taken care of, so every destination that you have is this postmodernism. So now, now let's look at how, how does this postmodernism always go sexual? Postmodernism gone sexual. How does it always do that? Postmodernism, yes, I still really don't understand what postmodernism is. Well, hold on, hold on, guys. Is it, is it exactly like I told you? These people, they have no clue that they have a mental illness. They have no clue of anything. They don't know what postmodernism I. This is one where I seem to be the only person that knows what this is. Is it because I'm a true artist and I know all the rules of art it doesn't matter the the person that is supposed to be the authority on this is james lindsay and a guy named wokel they don't know anything about this they they read the books of fucking insane people they have no clue of how this postmodernism actually works how it's art inverted they they have no clue they they wouldn't be able to look at youtube 
and see anything that calls itself entertainment on YouTube is not entertainment. It's the inverse of entertainment. It's an anti-equation of it all. Postmodernism, yes, I still really don't understand what postmodernism is. The, the, this is why I make so many videos. This is why I make a video on it just about every day. I don't care about this postmodernism. It's infecting everybody's lives from in every angle, in every aspect. It infects somebody's mind in every angle possible. Postmodernism, yes, I still really don't understand what postmodernism is. I've been told many times, and it's been explained to me many times. The, this is literally the postmodernist, that they don't know what it is. It is the same... If we looked at the whole defund the police thing and they can't understand cause and effect that if you defund the police, it doesn't make things better. It makes things worse. These people can't see that there's any cause and effect to anything whatsoever. Everything is just a bunch of random things and there could never be cause and effect to somebody's actions. I've been told many times, and it's been explained to me many times, and I still am bewildered. But perhaps that's part of the movement. This, this is how dumb it is, guys. The people that are doing sexy summer camps to your children are these same people that go, they're postmodernist. They're the same people that go, I don't even know what a postmodernist is. I don't, nobody could ever know. Is this looking familiar, guys? The world used to run on truth before these people got a hold of your parents, before these people got a hold of you, and they taught you that your opinion is just as valuable as truth. And you know what? Let's get rid of truth itself and make a whole world where we pretend your opinions are this is where you got that from, guys, from people that are insane, that have no clue of what they're doing, and they're doing it to you. They run the world. This is the real Illuminati, the real thing. These are the real people that run the world. These are the people that did sexy summer camps to your children. Postmodernism, yes, I still really don't understand what postmodernism is. I've been told many times, and it's been explained to me many times. And really? Still... You, nobody? I'm getting it. Nobody will understand this. The, the James Lindsay guy, he can read as many books as he wants to. He'll never fucking get it because he's not becoming something. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I'm talking about. As in, it's the whole thing of if, if I sat on a couch... I know what a couch feels like when I sit on it because I've sat on it. James Lindsay and just anybody, they've never sat on a couch before and they're reading books on what it's like to sit on a couch. They're never going to discover what this is. They're never going to know what it is because they're not. You know how to know what this actually is? is I teach you how to be an artist and you become an artist for real. When you become an artist for real, you'll be able to tell what postmodernism is. You'll be able to tell because it violates all the fucking rules. Nobody knows the rules. You, you have to know the rules are coming out with original things where the rules make something. When you start making original things, on your own, and you know how it's done, and you know that they're original, you'll be able to spot postmodernism. You'll be able to see it a fucking mile away while every single human being thinks it's their friend. I've been they, told. They th somehow, this outsmarts people, guys. This is why it's everybody's friend. Somehow, this outsmarts everybody. Exactly the same as Black Lives Matter did. I really don't understand what postmodernism is. I've been told many times, and it's been explained to me many times, and I still am bewildered. But perhaps that's part of the movement, bewilderment. These people want to make your entire world insane. They want to make your entire world gaslitten, and they want every human being to go insane 
They want literal anarchy on the streets. They want all human beings killing each other on the streets in a whole thing of a de-evolution of of all life, of all society. When they tell you that they want Western civilization to break down, they want you naked in the streets like Tarzan. They want you with guns. They want all human beings in the biggest anarchy you have ever fucking seen. And they go, well, you know, we don't know if it would be good or bad. We don't understand cause and effect of, of anything. They just think that it would be fun. That's it. They just think that it would be fun. I don't think I really know too much about what postmodernism actually is. I mean, uh, when, when, when you actually met up with what the real Illuminati is, I bet you never knew you'd actually be so horrified. You wouldn't. You you didn't know it was so evil. You thought everything was a play game. Everybody. It's just that nothing ever existed before, and then to see the actual true horrifying truth that this is the people that run the world this is how they think and to all of them it's just a whim for the your life is just a whim of excitement for them i don't think i really know too much about what postmodernism actually is for me it, it's how, how do you like that postmodernist music in the background it's not supposed to entertain you it's supposed to agitate you you know how like a, a protester an antifa protester is a professional agitator these go hand in hand the music is supposed to agitate you just like protesting is supposed to agitate you these are the activist these are the ones that taught your children that did you know all education is bad and you know what human beings should be activist every human being should abandon education of all kinds and become an activist i think i really know too much about what postmodernism actually we're, is I mean, we're, we're still at the beginning where these uh, the illuminati is telling you that it doesn't know how it's the illuminati i i don't know i don't know what it is or how it's happening that's part of the movement bewilderment Oh, and I'm going to, uh, at the beginning of this video, I'm talking a lot and I'm rewinding a lot so that we really, really get this. We really fucking get this. This mystery school curriculum here. Um, at, at a point, I'm just going to start letting the video play because this is mystery school curriculum. We've done this video like, I don't know, four or five times. Uh, we've done this video plenty of times. I don't think I really know too much about what postmodernism actually is. For me, it, it's primarily, it's an architectural movement. Postmodernism was a kind of style, and it was a kind of outrageous style at that. Isn't it, isn't it weird? At every single twist and turn, the postmodernist is the biggest hypocrite in the fuck. It's anti everything. It's anti life. It's anti creativity. It's turn the world. There is no style to postmodernism. And it, and if and I'll give you guys something fun. I mean, you already know it, but I will say it. Postmodernism is the antichrist from the Bible. There is no other antichrist. There is not an antichrist outside of it. If you don't know how it is, the don't just take my words. Uh, I'm telling you the truths. These are at, but if you don't know how it's a truth, that's fun for you. When I say it's the Antichrist, go figure out how it's the Antichrist. I'm not fucking around with you. I'm not just making up words. I'm not just throwing her alone. Literally, if you go try to figure out what is that you will arrive at this postmodern. You will arrive at nothing else. You will arrive at this postmodernism and go, it re this really is because it's the anti equation to everything. It's the anti equation to life. It, it's it's and at, at every single twist and turn, it's anti Jesus Christ. It's anti teachings. Of in every this is what opposes Jesus Christ as the totality of existence. There is no antichrist outside of this. 
architectural movement. Postmodernism was a kind of style, and it was a kind of outrageous style at that. I and, think we're a... and to make it easier for you, this is the story. This is literally what Lucifer said to God. This is literally of God, fuck your ways. See, Antichrist, God, fuck your ways. I hate your truths. How, how could, how would Lucifer be able to make a world outside of God? You have to reject all truth. How do you make a world void of God? That's Lucifer. Lucifer, Lucifer said, God, I hate your truths. I should be able to make up my own world out of my own opinion. This is literally how Lucifer made a world out of his own opinions. It's very anti-Christ, this postmodernism. And it was a kind of outrageous style at that. I think no. we're a No, it's God who has the style. This is, isn't if it's postmodernism tries to claim that it has style. It's, it's anti fucking style. It never postmodernism never fucking makes sense. It tries to destroy everything then go, but I was the one that had style, but I was out to destroy all style, but it was only me who had the style. And it was a kind of outrageous style at that. I think we're originals, but it wasn't until... The postmodernism, it thinks that it's original, but it fails to be original. It thinks it's original through an antichrist formula, rather than actually being original by beating nothing new under the sun. Well, hopefully you guys all remember Levi Clay, the guitar player. We had a lot of fun with that guy. The, the guitar teacher that believes nobody could ever improvise on a musical instrument. He believes you would have to hit a note that doesn't exist. Doesn't that sound weird? People improvise on guitar all the time. They write brand new original things improvising. But if you have this postmodernist mental illness, you can't understand nothing new under the sun and how to make original things. So you literally, it makes no sense. So you literally think, well, I mean, I'd have to play a note on the guitar that doesn't exist exist to be able to do something brand new and original. I'd have to play a note that never ever, that's this postmodernist mindfuck. This postmodern, uh, the, the postmodernist, they will think that they're so smart too. So smart. Creativity, to make something brand new, I'd have to hit a note on the guitar that never, and that's what these people are in. That's why, that's why I teach you how to be an artist. I realize it's the only way you're ever going to see any of this shit till you become an artist yourself. That is the only way anybody. That's why I teach you the rules. That's why you are becoming an artist yourself. I like that. I think we're a, originals, but it wasn't until I got spoken to by the BNA that I thought about anything that they, was Hey, guys, I wonder where all the weirdo shit came from. I wonder, we had punk rock and people used to um, dye their hair for reasons of descent. Postmodernist, once again, this is their creativity. They have none. They think it's to make everything upside down, including themselves. Do, do you wonder who's done this to the world? Who's done this to your children? Do you wonder where woke came from? These people. And the way I worked, uh, I described as... And, and it's another one where I'm just laughing because when I showed this to you two, three, four, I don't know, five years ago, when the world wasn't upside down, it was still just as upside down. It was still ran by these people. But when I showed it to you, there, there was no emergency. It, it was, you know what? It's just like the next video that I'm going to make. That's That one's going to be... That, that, that's going to go hand in hand with this. But remember when you just took this no, so nonchalantly? Oh, it's kind of important. You know, you, you kind of took it as like, oh, well, nobody could ever do anything in the world. No one could ever. And the whole world changed on you overnight as you sung the praises of no one could ever do anything. No one could ever know anything. No one could ever change anything. Ooh. 
use the word postmodernism because it means absolutely nothing and everything. I, I call myself a new futurist for a while. Um, so they think yeah, that's a- they think that they're futurist. They're progressives, guys. Isn't it weird? All their futurist shit is about destroying civilization. Turning they they literally want you to be naked in the street with wearing a loincloth. They they literally want that, and they want you to have knives and guns, and they want all human beings to go to war in a big savage war. <laughs> That's what they call futurism. That's what they call progressive. It's a weird progression, isn't it? The progression of a narcissistic favor that makes all human beings suffer. And they think your suffering is a good thing. That's the sexual part of this. And I'm not even fucking around. They get off on you suffering. It's very, very... Look at how these people are. They don't have to tell you. Look how their demeanor is. Look at how the, their eyes look. Just by their demeanor, the way that their eyes look, what they get excited about, they get excited about you suffering. They not only get excited about you suffering, they see it as sexual. Well, I suppose I've had a very postmodernist occurrence. I took acid. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Every single person can't understand spirituality. They can't understand learning. They have no clue of what these things are. So it's just the same as everybody else. They think that if they took a hit of acid, they would be enlightened. Um, See, to be enlightened, isn't it funny, guys, when you learned this one? The teachings of Jesus Christ is what enlightenment itself is. I just I have to say it. There's no other enlightenment outside of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the enlightenment. Um, um, I took acid. Every single human, Joe Rogan, all the scientists, all the scientists that, that look at like ancient artifacts. Every I took acid. Acid is, is no. See the way that I'm actually smart. The way that I'm more intelligent than most human beings is through Jesus Christ. Taking a hit of acid just shows you how stupid you are. Taking a hit of acid is like, hey guys, I saw myself for the first time. That's some baby ass shit. I believed on my ego. Hey guys, I believed my, on my ego my entire life. And I took a hit of acid. And I realized that that's all that happens when you take a hit of acid. You realize that you're not your fucking ego. You could do that watching a movie. You could do that. <laughs> that that just shows how how trapped human beings are, believing that they are their ego. They have to do something as drastic as take a hit of acid. I I could watch the television show Punky Fucking Brewster, and it gives me all the self reflection that I need and shit. Actual learning. Actual coming to this enlightenment is through Jesus Christ. Nothing has ever changed except for you stupid people trying to change everything through your opinions. Very postmodernist occurrence. I took acid. (laughs) Normal things suddenly changed into something extraordinary. So it sounds like mental illness took acid and then doubled down on its narcissistic favor for the world. The, the, the mental illness was already making you suffer. Then it took a hit of acid and said, I, and I'm serious, it's, it's already doing the plan of making you suffer. The mental illness took a hit of acid and goes, I got the, the greatest idea. It's brand new, original. No, it's the most original, brand new thing that ever came. How about if we made human beings suffer for our own amusement? We'll just double down on what we're already doing, but we'll believe that it's a new idea that we have. We'll just make humanity, we'll double down on our suffering. Well, in 1977, punk was just starting do, do, to... Ha- do you know how upset these people are at actual artists? Do you know how much... That's the whole thing. They want them destroyed. Do you know how upset these people are at original works? They believe that they're already doing 
original works. You know how these people want the world destroyed? Because what they're doing is fake. And everything in life shows it. So they try to destroy everything that's real so that they can replace it with this. And, and I thought, why not do tears that actually look like tears and then got safety pins and beaded around them like 12 years before Versace. I had access to the, the, the first photocopier. I was able to, to modify and change the look of the image using a, a photocopier. And of course, in, you know, in the 70s and into the 80s, the, the record cover was this incredibly important, vital kind of meaning. I, I don't want to stop the video too much, but this is what they hate. Look how a real artist made these flowers right here. It'd take a, you and I a long time to learn how to do this. A lot of creative. This is what they fucking hate. They believe that they should be able to make works of art like this with no practice, no training, no talent and skill. I should just already know how to do it with my opinion. And when they can't do it and it looks like shit and it's all backwards, <clears throat> they want to fuck up your mind to the point to where you don't know what's good and bad and you just praise their shit. You just, you don't know the difference and you actually believe that the postmodernism is somehow equivalent. Isn't everybody already there? Everybody's already there. They can't tell the difference between real art, postmodernist art, and everything is equally guilty. I wonder where you learned this equally guilty. You got rid of the difference between wrong and right to replace it with everybody's equal who taught you everybody's equally guilty and why did they do that so that they could get away with this the record cover was this incredibly important vital kind of medium of visual new, information new order there's only one new order guys and there's only one illuminati and they only have one objective guys new order the new order of postmodernism to replace enlightenment. This is a war on God. This is a war on Jesus Christ. Nothing has ever changed. Well, the, the same the, war has always been going on. Your life, everything has been a shield from it. Why are all human beings so stupid? Because your life is about not knowing what life is about what's really going on how about jesus christ always talking about this that your your um your enemies aren't men and women they're principalities this is the principality that is the enemy there is no principality outside of this that is the enemy there was the music papers and occasionally you know the sunday times color supplement might just sort of you know do something about andy warhol in new york and that would be about it you finally getting why these people would love them some andy warhol and convince you to love all all their postmodernist shit that don't make sense I mean, these people are so offended. They're offended. Why don't we have real artists in the world? These people are offended by it. Why don't we have the symbolism? You have to hide it. From, and and if the, this back to the movie Free Guy, and it has those two postmodernism woke parts in it, that's to appease these people. So, so much to say. So much to say. In the 70s, when I first started designing, there was a sort of a predominance of the internet. Um, uh, did she just say, she, did she just say that she's a designer? How could a postmodernist, as it, this is their weird shit again, their entire thing is about destroying all designing, turning it upside down so it does not function anymore. That's what they get off on, is if they can make shit so it doesn't function anymore. So wouldn't it be funny if one of these people, their entire goal is to make shit so it don't function, then they go, well, I'm a designer that designs things. Your whole objective is to make it so that nobody could ever design anything ever again and nothing fucking works. In the 70s... This I is this is the exact shit of if anybody really wanted to clean up the reality that we live in, 
all you have to do is hold these people to their belief system. That's They have programmed you to be afraid of that. You, all you have to do is hold these people to their wacko belief system that makes no sense. So when they say, I'm a designer, you don't let them do that. You say, no, you're a postmodernist. Your thing is about making it so nobody could ever design anything again. We're holding you to your mental illness. We're holding you to your belief system. That cleans all this shit up. All this shit. Because the narcissist realizes it needs to be covert. Somehow Twitter has let the narcissist think that it can be overt. Well, no, we need to push the narcissist back into being covert with all this shit. But in designing, there was a sort of a predominance of the international style where the ultimate goal was to be clean. And I always felt that that was like trying to clean up your room. Uh-oh, so uh-oh, look at this one. Hey guys, if you had an art style that is clean, they're, they're offended by it, guys. They want you in a loincloth outside your house. They want your neighbor. They want no electricity. They want the entire world on fire. Then they want you, um, you and your neighbor in a fight to the death in loincloths like Tarzan. That, that's what these people literally... So when she says, oh, that clean art style was offensive. It wasn't the loincloth anarchy lifestyle that I plan for all human beings. Where's where's the loincloths in the war? Where's that? Sort of a predominance of the international style where the ultimate goal was to be clean. And I always felt that that was like trying to clean up your room. So I was thinking... The, these are also the people that decided, Russia isn't Russia. <laughs> I mean, I'm Russia through Twitter. I, I control Russia through extortion and blackmail through Twitter. And Russia isn't Russia anymore. I'm Russia. Donald Trump isn't the president. I'm the president. This is the same people that do that shit. For ways of designing typography that could be more expressive, that were not about creating order, but were about creating spirit. Hey guys. Do you see that? Um. <laughs> Ways of designing typography that could be more expressive <coughs> that were not about creating order, but were about creating spirit. Hey guys, look how they've lied to- Oh my god, I'm, I'm hacking off this vape. I gotta quit talking when I'm smoking on it. For <coughs> ways of designing typography- look, look at the mind fuck that they told themselves. They told them all their antichrist destruction of everything and they are trying to say that they're creating spirit their 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 enemy is the holy spirit they hate all creativity talent and skill and they claim that all of their shit is creating spirit and happiness that that's what they claim with um putting your children in sexy summer camps that's literally their reasoning. That's literally how they do this shit. Of your room. So I was looking for ways of designing typography that could be more expressive, that were not about creating order, but were about creating spirit. They believe you in a loincloth fighting your neighbor in a brutal battle to the death. They believe that that's creating spirituality. They believe that the way that they've created San Francisco, a, a place that has no hope, full of people taking a shit on the streets, that's what they believe freedom and spirit is. They've also taught you that in a way where your mind can't escape it. So I make these videos every, just about every fucking day to help your mind escape this. As you believe that it's life, as you've been taught it your entire life, as your parents have taught it to, as your, all your friends are under it, as every single person sings the praises of this shit. <laughs> Times Square was where we uh, were in charge, but the whole revitalization of Times Square is a very interesting, complicated story. But I know. 
Did you hear the Illuminati right here literally tell you that he's responsible for Times Square? He's responsible for turning it into San Francisco. The Times Square was where we uh, were in charge of the whole revitalization of Times Square. It's very well, interesting. Well, if that's not the Illuminati, I don't know what is. Complicated story, but it does show the difference between the modernist point of view of how to redevelop or to develop a city and what we were able to do working with um, Tibor isn't, it, isn't it weird how they do this to our world? You and I are just living. It's called just normal life. Since these people are mentally ill and backwards, they make opposing sides of our regular world and their insane world. And they make it like it's a choice. They call us modernist. People, you know, you just wake up in the morning and then you live life. Doesn't need a name for it. It already has one. It's called living life. They've sectioned off life into your normal existence of just living life now has a name of modernist. And if you're mentally ill, that like that's a choice. If you're mentally ill, then it's just a choice in life that you're a postmodernist. Weird how they do that. Oh. Postmodern architecture is really that true. that's what I'm here to teach you guys is how they've made opposing sides of shit like that. That it scrambles your brain. You can't make your way out of that. It's because they made opposing sides of shit that's not supposed to have opposing sides. There's um, sane people, and that's credible. Mentally ill people are not credible. They made mental illness credible. As so, there's a choice uh, to be mentally ill or sane. And that's just a standard operating procedure for humanity. Pluralism, and you'll find it, it's death. All of well, everything to these people is an ism because of this, how they make opposing sides of everything creates an ism of everything. It also makes it so nothing ever existed before. Everything's just like an ism that I put on everything. They create opposing sides to everything, then put an ism on it. It's really to do with pluralism. But and you're fine. it really has to do with pluralism. There's no such thing as fucking pluralism. These people, these fucking people, <laughs> these fucking people. Develop a city and what <clears throat> we were able to I mean, to do look at the difference, though, at every single twist and turn. That's what you should be doing with this video. Every single twist and turn. Look at the difference between God's truth and... And Satan's lie, they ride right next to each other. It can be difficult to tell the difference at times, but when we go in and investigate, the difference is massive. It's fucking massive. This point of view of how to redevelop or to develop a city, and what we were able to do working with um, Tibor Kalman. Postmodern architecture is really to do with pluralism, and you'll find... Postmodernist architecture really has to do with pluralism. There's no such thing as a pluralism. Postmodern architecture is really to do with pluralism, and you'll find it, its depth, all of the great postmodernism, in philosophy, and now in literature, is about pluralism, pluralism, pluralism. To say, no, no, it's a mess. In fact, we want to make it more it, of a mess. It, oh, oh, it's a mess. We should make it. See, what I'm trying to get at as you, as a mystery school student, you will learn things. You'll, you learn things every day. You do this every day. You come to understandings that don't have words for them. You understand it. You've learned it. But there's no word to express what you're trying. You're, did you know? that you're allowed to make up words at that point. It's called wordsmithing. It's things that masons do when you don't have the word, when the word doesn't exist and you have to make up a word. That's playing by the rules. That's fucking sanity. That is intelligence. That's God's way. Look at how these, look at these fucking people. They just make up words, pluralism, because they've made opposing sides for things. That's not the rules. You actually have to discover something, and you don't have the words to explain it. At that point, you're allowed to wordsmith a word. You're allowed to make up a word. Look at these fucking people. 
They make up words because they make opposing sides of things. And the opposing side that they make is just you, you just innocently living your life. And then they put a name of modernism on your just regular old life. Then they try to say, did you know your regular old life of modernism is bad? And everybody should be a postmodernist, as though it's like a choice. It's mental illness. And what we were able to do, working with um, Tibor Kalman, postmodern architecture is really to do with pluralism. And you'll find it, its depth, all of the great postmodernism, the philosophy, and now in literature, is about pluralism, pluralism, pluralism. To say, no, no, it's a mess. In fact, we want to make it more of a mess. Hey, hey, it's San Francisco. Let's make it a mess. Let's make it so people literally shit. That's the ideas these people have, guys. They think that the world is going to be a better place when we don't have plumbing anymore. They literally come to this equation in their head that the world, all the people are going to be so happy when they don't have running water or toilets anymore. Comes to Times Square not for tidykins, but for meth. It's accepting that the modern world with Freud, Marx, Henry Ford, mass production was positive, but it can be radically improved. We studied the, the signage in Times Square. The, and then we... I wonder where the millennials got this whole catchphrase of, we're the millennials, everybody's racist and stupid and you're all bigoted, and us millennials, we're perfect in every single way with our opinions, and we're going to make the world a better place. It's gonna... And you've destroyed the entire world in put. I wonder where the millennials got these praises that they sing. We're the best, we're the greatest, we're, the... we're flawless in every single way, and our opinions are truth itself, and we're going to make the world world a really great place we're going to deny all truth and change the world into what our opinions where do you think you got programmed with that do you think that it just do you think all millennials just came up with this praise at the same these people um put you under mind control they while you and and it, now i guess i could say that since we're all um around my age at the mystery school while you were supposed to be parenting your children while you thought nobody needs to be a parent. I mean, the world parents my child. They're, we don't need parents anymore. This is what was um, done to your children while you weren't looking. While, while, while you thought that the world had your child's back, you somehow thought the world had y your child's best intentions and you didn't have to be a parent. I wonder where all millennials came up with this praise that they sing. We're gonna make the world better. We are the greatest. Nobody's greater than a snowflake millennial. I'm offended by everything. I shouldn't have to look at truth. I shouldn't. I'm perfect in every way. My opinion is God itself. Where, where, where did millennials get all these praises that they sing? I know it seems to be absolutely identical to the people that programmed you to think that way. Deacons, but it, it seems that we actually found the Illuminati and they're just as insane as everyone has always said they are. But nobody would know how they're insane because every single human being is under their insanity. It's, they it's, have literally turned you into them. That's why you can't see it, because you have been turned into them. For me to teach a human being this shit, it takes me like 10 years. That's how much you're under it. That's how it takes daily fucking videos. Da daily videos to scratch the surface. Because it's the totality of who you've been taught to be. Thing that the modern world with Freud, Marx, Henry Ford, mass production was positive, but it can be radically improved. We studied the, the signage in Times Square, and then we set minimums, minimums for sizes of signs, minimums for brightness of signs. What we were legislating, in a way, was the capitalist impulse. Once you tell an entrepreneur that his or her sign can only be this big, uh, he will be satisfied, he will agree to it. But if you say it can be this big or bigger or brighter, 
Well, everybody wants to compete in a capitalist society. So you he, have to be in the- he, He's telling you how his plan is to make you think that you live in a capitalist society while it's really communist and you didn't notice. Okay. And ironic about the failures. He's, tell, he's Com- telling you, wouldn't it be so funny <clears throat> if we went into Times Square and people believed that we were doing capitalism, but really we were turning their society into communism. Wouldn't that be a funny PewDiePie joke? Wouldn't it be hilarious if they woke up the next day and they didn't even realize that they lived in 100% communism as they believed that they were still capitalist? Because people wouldn't go for this. So we have to force it on them and we have to trick them into it. And while, while people are ignoring being a parent, we'll teach their children to think like this, then the children will do it all our work for us once they're under this. Big or bigger or brighter. Well, everybody wants to compete. Where, ca- where, where do you think critical race theory came from? The, these people, the, the, these people, it came from um, nowhere else. It's one of those times where I have to say that it, there's no critical race theory outside of this. It didn't come from any other people. These is the only people that it could have came from. This is the only people that when we look at Portland, we look at Antifa, and the school system has been completely dismantled and children are only taught to be activists. It's only these people, guys. There is no other group of people that does that. Welcome to the Illuminati, the real fucking thing. About the failures probably the beginning of a new depression another crisis of modernism modernization modernity what's going to get us out of this we have to rethink the modern movements in all the arts and in society and Um, the the world is doing just fine and then these people they never stop with their narcissistic favor everything is i'm going to make the world a better place once all human beings are suffering i they need all human beings to suffer is the umbrella term the, for rethink. The, the world is doing just fine. We're progressing. These people see it as offensive. And oh my God, the world's going to be a great place once everybody's in loincloths fighting everybody. It should be bloody battles of neighbor versus neighbor in a barbaric war. And all of this human beings progressing it, it, it's offending me. What's going to get us out of this? We have to rethink the modern movements. Isn't that weird? How he goes, we got to get ourselves out of this. W- out of what? No, humanity is progressing. He's telling you that humanity progressing is offensive to him. And if he can create San Francisco and make all human beings suffer, that now we're all, that's what progressives call progressive. That's the progressive part of progressive. What's going to get us out of this? We have to rethink the modern movements in all the arts and in society. And postmodernism is the umbrella term for rethinking. We knew 42nd Street was an incredible success when the Consolidated Edison Company called the state of New York and said, you know, understand he's talking about when he made it brutalist architecture. These people love brutalist architecture. Uh, and I get to experience it all the fucking time. They love it when the buildings is downtown LA and the buildings are so big and you're so small and you feel it. With brutal architecture, you really fucking feel it. You feel that you're an insignificant ant and you better not question the rulers of this world. The, the brutalist architecture gives you that feeling and it's supposed to give you that feeling. So understand, when this guy is saying, when I took, he's saying, when I took all of the humanity 
out of New York City, and I made it all advertising, and all the, the, the advertising was so big, and it made all the human beings feel so small. And when I was able to make the brutalist architecture and make all human beings insignificant, that's when I knew I was making the utopia. That's when I knew I was making what I wanted to make right here. Understand that that's what he's saying. Grid is tapped out. Uh, let, let's even go back. I mean, I'm making this video way too long. Let, let's even hear him say that. Modernism is the umbrella term for rethinking. We knew 42nd Street was an incredible success when the Consolidated Edison Company called the state of New York and said, you know, our grid is tapped out. Uh, the, the the progressives were using all of the electricity to make brutalist architecture and make human beings feel insignificant. They they really they, they don't care about they don't care about anything, guys. They don't care about this whole renewable energy. They don't care about uh, global warming, climate. They never care. And you always known that. What they care about is you suffering. All of these things that they do is just a way to make you suffer. They get off on that shit. There we go. How, and, and how would that be hard to understand? All I would have to do is play a multiplayer video game. Every single little kid is under Schadenfreuden. Every single little kid wants to um, take great pleasure in my demise. How about if we played GTA 5? It's only Schadenfreuden. Every single person looking to take great pleasure in your demise. That's the totality of Generation Z. They call it entertainment. They don't know any other entertainment. Entertainment to them is Schadenfreuden. And isn't it funny to make people suffer? So, like, if you had a hard time understanding this, um, it's you. It's your own children. It's everybody you've ever known, especially millennials and Generation Z. The only thing that they know is to take pleasure in somebody else's demise. You've been taught it from these people. That, you know, GTA 5 isn't an accident. It's what these people made. It's the way that they want it. It's the way they want the entire world to function. The, the criminal's the good guy. Blackmail, slander, and extortion wins and should be praised. And that smart people slander, blackmail, and extort. Good, good people never say anything about anything and just get robbed. In the case of particularly Joy Division and, and then New Order, they could never exactly agree amongst themselves amongst themselves there was no hierarchical structure particularly in new order uh, after the end of joy division after ian curtis had died the responsibility for the covers came to me um and so they were about what i was interested in and they were about in a way beginning to learn. yeah I, I get it now i get it if you're not an artist you, you can't cut. All I got to do is teach you how to be an artist. All I got to do is teach you how, and you know all the rules and how it works and how to make original things and what original things are and how to sabotage it all. And all, you, you just know what this shit is. You just know. The camera. <laughs> Because, because you know the destination of how to make original things. If you do the postmodernism, it sabotages your own original works. You really learn. You, you really learn that this being an artist thing is a very complicated thing. And it, it's unintuitive. And it seems backwards. Like all the shit that I teach you, you go, damn, that, that's totally different. And I'm going, no, you're backwards. This is the straight path. The thing that I was doing was I was using slip casting and a lot of the... There's another, there's another one of these fucking weirdos and shit. She thinks being original is I wear stupid glasses. I wear stupid... I can't figure out what original things are. I can't figure out what actual creativity is. Tradition. Look, all I have to do is teach you how to be a creative person. All I got to do is teach you how to be an artist. Minimalist things also had that idea of sort of expressing. Uh, once I teach you how to be an artist, 
tell me, do you think this, um, they, these postmodernists, it's so dumb. They just take things of the average world and then rearrange them into nonsensical things. And then they go, I made something brand new. It's original. Look how I just took average things and rearranged them into nonsensical shit. Is that, is that art? Did I, is it's the dumbest shit in the entire world? The deep Let's see, sh show us some of your postmodernist rearranging of regular shit. Tooth of clay. And I thought that was a load of complete rubbish. And I thought what was wonderful about clay was the fact that you could make it look like anything else. They decided to call their first album Movement. The kind of sequences and the sort of a, a, a kind of a pulse beat. There was a subtle transition from Joy Division to New Order, and they had to find who they could be without Ian's writing and without Ian singing. The pulse look, beat. Beat. Look, look at these motherfuckers in control of the music industry and in control of New York City. We I, we found the Illuminati here. To become what New Order are about, I, I was quite happy to show New Order. Um, uh, futurism because I, I, I was certain that Marinetti would have would have loved New Order. Charles Jenks wrote this extraordinarily resonant sentence in postmodernism. See, you hear that music in the background when postmodernists want to go, oh, music, mu music, you have to hold them. It's so the music in the background is that's what postmodernist music is. It has to not make sense. It has to be gaslighting. It has to be annoying. It has to make you fucking crazy that you have to not let them do real music and you have to hold them to their postmodernist ideas. Died in 1972 when Pryor Ergo was blown up. It feels like some Nancy Pelosi here and some San Francisco and just the way that it all thinks. We're going to have the greatest utopia if we knock down all the buildings of the world and all human beings. We're in loincloths fighting it out in a great war of savages. We're finally going to have the utopia and all human beings are going to be happy. Isn't this weird how they come out with this shit? <laughs> when you're fighting in the street with your neighbor in a loincloth is when everybody's going to finally be happy, and that's the utopia. In fact, it goes back to the 60s, really, in a radical way. Feminism, black power, a whole series of group of schools. All of Feminism, black power. Black power just changed its name to BLM. Oh. I think it was a release from constraint from, from the, uh, the design codes, the design rules, the function. They think it's descent. Look at this guy. He's so fucking stupid that he thinks that his anarchy and mental illness is descent. No, see, descent is what makes everything better. He thinks destroying everything through anarchy somehow creates a great world. Strange from, from the, uh, oh, it's we're isn't it a weird way? Isn't it Satan's lie way of doing it? I'm rebelling against the restraints. I, I'm sending your children to sexy summer camps. That's how I'm rebelling against the restraints of reality. I think it was a release from constraint from, from the, uh, the design codes, the design rules, the functionalism of the modern era. The notion of a singular aesthetic is, is untenable. They, is they think you waking up in the morning and then going, oh, well, shit, I, I need to take a shower. And then you're hungry after you take a shower and then you eat. They, they call that modernism. That somehow you you waking up in the morning and opening up your eyes is somehow labeled modernism. Unrealistic in the kind of democratized society. And as such, it was a Pandora's box. The genie was out, and uh, so it's it's about color and I, all of them. I he, there could be nothing more important than when he says Pandora's box. Because it's literally what Pandora's box is. Uh, opening up this mental illness to the world. Spreading it around. Normalizing it. The entire internet 
is made of the it is literally look at what it's done to the world look at what's is there another pandora's box the, the, we're dealing with the world's greatest fucking enemy here all the stories and all the myths apply when we're talking about the world's what are the the stories and myths about the world's greatest enemy we're kind of into that here try anything if you take the actual broader philosophical meaning of postmodernism there are no absolutes in art whether it's architecture painting look he's given us the spiel he's telling us nothing ever existed before um he's wrong if you take the actual broader philosophical meaning of postmodernism there are no absolutes in did, art did he just try to trick you He's saying that there's no rules and no truths. No, it's different when Pablo Picasso, when Pablo Picasso goes, you have to learn all the rules in order to break them. Well, see, Pablo Picasso knows all the rules. So when he says it, it means something. This guy doesn't know what the rules are to be able to break them. It's different. Philosophical Look at him. He's going, the greater philosophical meaning of postmodernism is to get rid of truth and make everything your opinion. No, that's, that's totally different than when Pablo Picasso says you have to know all the rules in order to break them. If you take the actual broader philosophical meaning of postmodernism, there are no absolutes in art, whether it's architecture, painting, of music, literature, or whatever. It's a shift that brought the, uh, the internet, the, the web. Things were never the same again. Look at, all this, look at all this stupid shit that makes no sense, that they think makes sense, and it make, they think it makes some utopia. It's just there to make you crazy. It's there to make you suicidal and kill your fucking self. Like, like, literally, that's the end game of all this, is to make you so suicidal that you kill yourself. It's literally the, our, the Star Trek episode Four Lights. This is the same mind control. This is the same thing as Four Lights in Star Trek, what they were doing to the captain. It's supposed to gaslight you identically to Four Lights. You're supposed to become fucking crazy from this shit. <laughs> During the kind of one of the this high moments of oh, the and, and if any if any of it's annoying to you, that's what they get off on. Oh, that's the part that they call sexual. If all this, sh if you'd like to hear actual real music, and you find this anti music annoying, oh fuck, they get off on it like like fucking some Nazi soldiers on this shit. Period. Artists like Varvara Stepanova and, and her colleagues, Rachenko, these kind of productivists, they were designing the, the way that they imagine the proletariat, newly empowered and politicized proletariat would dress. And the, 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 the interesting question might be, what's the difference between an Isemiyaki or, or, or a Comte des Garçons iteration of modernism? Can you imagine that garment in relation to a political revolution? Probably not. No, you, you can imagine it as a kind of citation and if, if there is a thing called postmodernism, it's the absence of that thought. Look, look, you... look, he goes, if there's a such thing, look at what they've done to their own brains. Nothing ever existed. Be you're literally postmodernist doing postmodernism. You have no clue of what it is or what you're doing. You even talk about it as if postmodernism postmodern even, even existed. See, I get it. I teach you how to be an artist. And then you can see what this shit is so fucking easy. It's so fucking dumb. It's the dumbest shit in the world. And if, you you if, can't if be tricked by it anymore. A thing called postmodernism. It's the absence of that thought. Can you imagine the Comte des Garçons worker? If the answer is no, then you're in the world of postmodernity. It's just, it's just like if I taught you carpentry you'd learn that it's all unintuitive and every single thing is the tricks of the trade and you wouldn't be able to think your way into it. I mean, basic carpentry, finished carpentry, it's taken us like thousands of years to get to the point to where we know all these tricks of the trade. And, and once you learn them, 
you're not going to somebody that doesn't know how to do this. You're not they're not going to be able to lie to you anymore. You're just going to be able you'll you'll know the tricks of the trade and how it's actually done. You can't be um, razzle dazzled by the same shit that's razzle dazzling you here. When Ian died, the, the, the... And, and you already know it, but I, I don't have to say it, but your whole life, these people have been purposely sabotaging reality so that they can go, look how reality failed. Look how civilization failed. They, they literally, that's why San Francisco is San Francisco. That's why downtown Los Angeles, they you've already always known it. They have purposely done it. It goes so far back. It's the same story of Lucifer's going to make his own world and God is going to be so jealous of Lucifer's awesome fucking creation. Oh, Lucifer's awesome creation is going to be so fucking awesome that they're trying to make this. They're trying to sabotage reality so that they can say reality failed and see, we should do it my postmodernist way because all the other ways failed. Kind of, uh, Which, of know. course, postmodern, it's identical to communism. It's the same shit. Everything is identical. This is the, the way a communist thinks. They have this mind fuck. They got this mental illness. The legend was sort of forged almost overnight. The, 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 the message of this story was, was more profound than any than any broadcast or marketing could ever be. One of the things that's particular about the English tradition is that it's very impure. Yeah, we had an empire. Oh, I know the English tradition. Yeah. We're forever nicking ideas from other places and kind of collaging them. I together. know, you fucking sarcastic fucking postmodernist. The only way anybody could ever have freedom is to break away from you and start the United States. And now you're back to do your same fucking shit to us. Um, so as you can have, have a piece of London that's pre-fire of London that happens to have survived right next to something that came in as a Christopher Wren development, something that came through the railway age, a cottage that's hung on until it's wiped out to put out a Westfield shopping mall, and all of these things coexist. So that look, look, at, look at how all these people claim to be artists. They're filmmakers and they're architects. And everything that they talk about is we we need to we need to rig an election so we get our people in there so that we and they've done that. That's why our all of our fucking governors and mayors and all the whole entire deal is this. It's all they've they got their way, they did it. They got their sexy summer camps for kids. Um, you know, complete uh, a victory of the of the neoliberal economy alongside the diversity of culture, the diversity of, of, of interests, I think makes it a place where things uh, happen in, in a postmodern way. And it all meshes on somewhere like the Thames, the reason for London's foundation that we come ashore from elsewhere and we reinvent ourselves I know, by bringing... <clears throat> I know, I find it common with British people since British and just everybody, I mean, I'm really with all of this. I'm always talking about everybody, but I'm just having fun when I go Canadians. I really mean everybody <clears throat> since um, it's a real thing that it's only the United States that's experienced freedom. Um, these other places, they believe that they've experienced. You, you don't have um, freedom. You don't have the laws of they, they it, it, these British people. Their, their idea of freedom is mental illness. They're right, since they've never known what it is, since they have speech laws, and they believe that they're free people that have no speech laws. I mean, think about that. Walk a mile in the shoes and shit. 
These people that have never experienced freedom have no fucking clue what it is. They're still thinking that they, that they can think their way into it. And every time they try to think their way into it, they make more postmodernism. Then they keep the culture alive. This guy is fucking insane. <laughs> So we, we did the whole video. We got down to the bottom of sexy summer camps for your children. We found the Illuminati like we really did. That's really the Illuminati, the real, we did it. We found the real. Now, what's fucking funny is it's just like anything else. If you were to show anybody, I mean, it's comic. It's the real thing. It's the real thing, but it's comical. I, you couldn't show the average person because you, the average person just laughs at everything. They're a stupid fucking idiot. You can't talk to that. Like, what about the conspiracy people here on YouTube? We found the Illuminati for real. Um, shouldn't shouldn't this be a big discovery that other people are picking up on and making videos on? And we've no, because they'll cancel me. If anybody found out that I found the real Illuminati and we could do something about it and we could stop it, that's not what people want. They want a boogeyman that they can blame everything on. They want so if the Illumin the, the real Illuminati is allowed to do whatever it wants at any fucking time. And um if anybody was to show the real Illuminati, your life will be canceled. For that but if you want to talk about the illuminati like it's something fake and um it's controlling all of our lives and one day we're gonna get that illuminati and we're the good guys and the illuminati are the bad guys and and nobody could ever do anything about anything and oh well well i mean they'll make you a millionaire they'll make you a superstar humanity will love you if you do that but if you actually show humanity the real illuminati they will ostracize you, cancel your life. You'll be a bum on the side of the road. Nobody will ever talk to you again, look at you again, and they'll all spit on you as they walk by. So I hope everybody has the greatest day and the greatest life you could possibly have.